the power of enchantments and also artifacts, but not both at the same time, dude. Scrappy Survivors. This deck has a bunch of really interesting new cards for Commander, some banging reprints with new art, and a real identity crisis. There are two themes going on, and they're really hard to marry, just like my ex-wife, dude. So let's dive in. And if you enjoy these videos, like and subscribe, you dingus. We got all kinds of Commander content for you, buddy. It's all for you. And a sweet kiss on your head because you're a good little one. All right, let's start off with the face commanders, and we got a couple bangers for you today, dude. Dog meat, ever loyal, red, green, and a white for a legendary creature dog. It's a 3-3. When this guy enters the battlefield, mill five cards, then return an aura or equipment card from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever a creature you control that's enchanted or equipped attacks, create a junk token. If you have this beautiful dog, it's wearing goggles, man. That's just too much for me, buddy. Just as an aside, I had this dog in Fallout 3. Somehow he got lost, got stuck somewhere, I didn't have a companion for a while. This game was super glitchy, so I ended up blowing up Megaton. And as I was watching the conflagration, the damn dog came flying out of nowhere. Apparently he was stuck in the nuclear blast and then made his way over to me like nothing happened. Anyways, dog meat's a pretty interesting, powerful enough build around, plays well with the recursion that's already in the deck. I would hardly recommend going with one or the other, you know, equipment or auras, not both which transitions us very nicely into Preston Garvey the Minuteman. Two red, green, and a white for a legendary creature, human soldier, it's a 4-4. Four, four. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a green aura enchantment token named Settlement. Attached to up to one target land you control, it has enchant land, and enchanted land has tap, add one mana of any color, which is pretty neat. Whenever this guy attacks, untap each enchanted permanent you control. Now this is a very powerful commander. See, the deck has some of these, but there are these auras that can enchant lands in addition to the ones that Preston creates, and they're mostly ramp. Unfortunately, in its base state, the deck has too many equipments and not enough enchantment payoffs. This dude looks like a little shell-shocked, you know? Looks like he's seen stuff, man. He's seen some war. This can be a combo engine. I'm going to show you how. And that combo centers around a little card called Aggravated Assault. Two and a red for an enchantment, three red red, untap all creatures you control. After this main phase, there's an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Activate only as a sorcery. Basically, if you can untap five mana worth of lands with Preston's neat little ability, you can go off with this. It sounds like a lot, but you really just need to activate it once or twice because at that point, you'll have enough settlement lands untapping that you can go to combat forever. And that's pretty fun, dude. So let's take a look at some of the more impactful new cards. There are some really neat ones in here, man. I'm not going to go over every one because that's not better, Commander, dude. That's a bunch of shiitake mushrooms, and I don't need that in my life. All right, first up, we got a really neat little one-drop here. It's the Pip-Boy 3000. So this is an artifact equipment. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, choose one. Draw a card, discard a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature, or untap up to two target lands, has equipped for two mana. This is some rather bland art, but it's a really neat equipment card. This can be a little looter engine, a power buff, or a ramp piece. The cost is fair, it comes down early, it's a great one drop in an equipment deck, especially one that cheats equip costs. You're gonna come out mana positive if you're doing that, brother. Gunner Conscript, I like this card. One in a green for a creature, human mercenary, it's a 2-2 with trample. Gets plus one, plus one for each aura and equipment attached to it. When it dies, if it was enchanted, create a junk token. When it dies, if it was equipped, create a junk token. Interesting art. Looks like those poor models at Fashion Week, dude. Just getting strapped into some abomination there. Mr. Gutsy, check out the backside. Call Mr. Butsy, dude. Two generic mana for an artifact creature, robot soldier. It's a 1-1. One, one. Whenever you cast an aura or equipment spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on this guy. When he dies, create X junk tokens, where X is the number of plus one, plus one counters on it. Junk tokens are pretty cool impulse draw. I like them. This can be pretty good in this deck, man. It's a neat early drop. Inventory management. That's what I loved about the Fallout games. All the guns and everything, man. You can just pick your poison. Red and white for an instant has split second. For each aura and equipment you control, you may attach it to a creature you control. The fact that this has split second and can cheat all the equip costs is really nothing to be sneezed at in those equipment decks. I think it's a staple, man. Use this in response to targeted removal, too. You can switch auras to another creature. The Silver Shroud. So this is two generic mana for an artifact equipment, has flash. When Silver Shroud, a costume, enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. That creature gains Shroud until end of turn. Equip creature can't be blocked, has equipped for three. Speaking of cheating equip costs, this is a pretty good way to protect your commander, at least until the end of turn. 
it's better if you're the threat creature and you don't have shroud you know so you can target it with other equip abilities not bad for an equipment deck now this is something that i am definitely not today well rested enchantment aura enchant creature enchanted creature has whenever this creature becomes untapped put two plus one plus one counters on it then you gain two life and draw a card this ability triggers only once each turn this works great with Preston Garvey because he's going to untap after combat as long as he's alive. So you get that free draw, buddy. The art is pretty funny too. He's waking up to a couple of raiders about to give him some loves. How's about Idolized? One in a white for an enchantment aura enchant creature. Enchanted creature has whenever this creature attacks alone, gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of non-land permanents you control. You got a young Lou Diamond Phillips out there amongst his fans, and I am one of them, make no mistake. This can be a banger if you plan on putting all your eggs in one big creature-shaped basket. This thing, Armory Paladin. One red and a white for a creature, Human Knight. It's a 3-3 with Trample. Whenever you cast an aura or equipment spell, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until the end of your next turn. This is a really sweet biscuit of a card, man. This goes nuts in equipment decks. Wears buffs well with Native Trample. Great card, great art. It's got that laser gatling or whatever it's called, man. This is great. Codsworth, this is another fantastic card, man. Two and a white for a legendary artifact creature, robot, it's a 2-3. Commanders you control have war too. You could stop right there and I'd play it, man. Has tap, add white, white, spend this mana only to cast aura and or equipment spells. Also has tap, attach target aura or equipment you control to target creature you control. Activate only as a sorcery. It's a great card for a Voltron deck. This guy is your commander's best friend. Can cheat equip cost, can be a sweet mana dork. This has more applications than Microsoft Word, and it's a beautiful friend just like you. Three Dog. So this guy, man, he was the Wasteland DJ, dude. One red and a white for a legendary creature, Human Bard. It's a 1-5. Whenever you attack, you may pay two and sacrifice an aura attached to this idiot. When you sacrifice an aura this way, for each other attacking creature you control, create a token that's a copy of that aura attached to that creature. Why did they get cute with the perspective like this, dude? Just show the character, man. I thought he was like standing sideways against the wall or something. I had to really look at it to see he was in a chair. Anyways, this is clunky but interesting, especially with enchantment payoffs or auras that draw cards when they enter the battlefield. It's pretty clunky though. Strong back. This is what you get when you do Ben over Rose, man. Two and a green for an enchantment aura, enchant creature. Equip abilities you activate that target enchanted creature cost three less to activate. Aura spells you cast that target enchanted creature cost three less to cast. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two for each aura and equipment attached to it. This is a pretty nice card. Cheats costs on auras and equip costs and buffs your creature. It's no ancestral mask, you know, but it's still decent. Cast Hand of Vengeance. Two red and a white for a legendary creature, human ranger. It's a four or three with vigilance. Whenever Cast or another creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, Return any number of aura cards that were attached to it from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to target creature. Then attach any number of equipment cards that were attached to it to that creature. This is an interesting card. Mitigates the downside to auras. You build this big creature and it usually still just dies to swords to plowshares. She's looking at that burnt piece of paper like it's got the kernel secret recipe on it. The Grim Reaper's Sprint. Four and a red for an enchantment aura has Morbid. The spell costs three less to cast if a creature died this turn as an enchant creature. When this thing enters the battlefield, untap each creature you control. If it's your main phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and has haste. This is really neat, man. I'm going to tell you why. First, it gives Preston Garvey another attack. Second, it gives haste and a little buff. Extra combat spells are typically four to five mana anyways. And this is one that's an aura to pay off all that stuff. Then we get to this big old aura, dude. Almost perfect. Four green and a white for an aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature has base power and toughness 9, 10, and has indestructible. This is a nice card. Buffs up all those little creatures we talked about earlier. And it looks cool, man. Everybody wants power armor because we're all clinically obese and barely move our carcasses around to begin with, dude. We need a suit of armor to get our butts up off the couch. Take a walk. All right, let's talk about some reprints. Everybody always wants to know what the reprint value is on a deck. Well, I'm going to tell you here, brother. Pure Steel Paladin, white, white for a creature. Human Knight, it's a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Equipment you control, have equipped zero. As long as you control three or more artifacts, that's the Metalcraft, dude. I don't understand why the rest of the art in this set can't be more like this. This is gritty. It's realistic. It's less cartoony. This guy's a staple in equipment decks for like a million years here. 
Doesn't play well with Preston Garvey though, so we can slot him in another equipment deck. Heroic Intervention. Permanent you control gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Man, this is an instant two mana. Simple protection piece, solid and efficient card that's about 10 bucks. And the Champion's Helm, three generic mana for an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. As long as it's legendary, it has hexproof, has equipped for one. This card had two recent reprints and is cheaper than ever. Used to be a very pricey card, but a real sweet protection piece in an equipment deck. This art though, man, I don't know, I'm not a fan of this art. And last notable reprint, Mantle of the Ancients. Three white white for an enchantment aura, chant creature you control. When this thing enters the battlefield, return any number of target aura or equipment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each aura and equipment attached to it. What a goofy picture of a shirt, dude. That's hilarious. Anyways, this is amazing in aura decks, though it's a big upfront mana investment. So how the heck are we going to upgrade this thing? We have equipment and aura payoffs, little creatures that wear equipment well and can be enchanted with sweet auras. We have dog meat, which plays nicely with the light recursion theme in the deck, but Preston is too dang powerful. Not only does he untap all your stuff that's enchanted, but he makes it land enchantments. Enchantments have some pretty amazing payoffs, including these sweet draw creatures, both of which were reprinted in Commander Masters. Eidolon of Blossoms and Satessin Champion are both absolute bangers. These cards mitigate the downside of running auras. The fact that they can get a 3 or 4 for 1 with a removal spell, that really sucks, but these guys pack your hand, generate incredible card advantage, and don't care if you cast an enchantment or if it's made by Preston. Similarly, Tangle Span Lookout draws when a settlement enters the battlefield. Look at this little fella out there. Good looking now, bro. Better a satyr than a potato, that's what my aunt used to say. Sram, which sounds like the sound Garman makes in Bloodborne. Sram! He can play nicely with equipment or auras. He's a shoe in in a Preston deck or a dog meat deck where you're splitting auras and equipments. But this guy, he takes the cake. Gilwain, casting director. One green and a white for a legendary creature, human bard, it's 2 3. Whenever this guy or another non token creature enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. You're going to create a royal roll, a sorcerer roll, or a monster roll token attached to that creature. Look at this man, he's a hat master. This guy's gonna haberdash you without your consent, and that's not better, Commander Dude. That's not the community we want, but it is pretty good for getting auras on your dudes. And one of those dudes can be Elevir of the Wild Court, two green and a white for a legendary creature, Human Knight, it's a 4-4. Whenever this thing enters the battlefield or attacks, create a virtuous roll token attached to another target creature you control. Whenever an enchanted creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Look at this guy, man. You'd think he really likes hanging out in the woods with Rumpelstiltskin, and you'd be correct. And you got Mazzy out here, the true sword paladin. One green, red, and white for a legendary creature, Halfling Knight. It's a 3-4. Whenever an enchanted creature attacks one of your opponents, it gets plus 2, plus 0, and gains trample until end of turn. Whenever an aura you control is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, exile it. Until the end of your next turn, you may cast that card. Very neat card. Looks like Warwick Davis from Willow, but that's okay. This counts our opponent's creatures, so if you want to goad with an aura, that's nice too, man. Enchantments also have some very unique tutors, like the Moon Blast Cleric. It's a vampiric tutor for aggravated assault or whatever you want. Sanctum Weaver just got a couple reprints. She's just a cute cross-eyed dryad wearing her best flower dress just for you. If you're running Preston, you may want to include a few more of the land auras that produce mana. Trace of Abundance is a neat old card from Alara, I think. It's about a $3 common, probably needs a reprint. A couple other ones as well. Now if you want to get real fancy, you can splurge on Halvar God of Battle, dude. Don't say that too loud in colleges around the country. Too white white for a legendary creature, God, it's a 4-4. Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike. At the beginning of each combat, you may attach target aura or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature you control. This guy is so diesel, man, he ends games. Honestly, I would lean even further into those effects for Preston. This is a really unique build around that pushes enchantments and aura decks specifically. Pushes them up a notch, buddy. Seems like a great pre-con. So I got a $30 upgraded list for you and it slaps. Keeps a lot of the Fallout flavor. Enjoy it, man. The Snicky G from Better Commander signing off.